This is Kirkley Park, home to the famous Walls End Boys Club. Hello, my name is Richard and welcome to the latest episode of Grassroots Football Journeys where we look at the history and home grounds of another local football club. In this episode we feature a club who in their 119 year history have produced nearly 100 professional footballers. This is the story of Walls End Boys Club. <laughs> The club began life in 1904 by workers of the Swan Hunter shipyard which had opened in Walls End in 1880. At the height of its powers the company was one of the most prolific shipbuilders in the country but this shipyard at Walls End closed in 2007. The boys club was not initially a sports club at all and it was based in two rooms at a cafe in Station Road to give youngsters of the area the opportunity to learn skills such as woodworking. In 1906 the club was given use of land here on Kings Vale on the road to the isolation hospital which is now the ambulance centre, although football was not widely played here at the time. In 1938 work began on a new building here on Station Road which would become the famous home of Walls End Boys Club for more than 70 years. Known for its L-shaped wooden clubhouse, the venue mainly hosted boxing and judo until football really took off in the 1950s. Originally, the club's football teams played here at Western School where they would get changed at Station Road and walk across the field to the pitches. Just as football was really beginning to take off here at Station Road, the club suffered a setback in June 1959 when a wooden clubhouse was destroyed by fire. Extensive damage was caused to the gym and sports equipment was destroyed and the clubhouse remained closed for more than four years. In the summer of 1964 the club were given a grant to rebuild the site and the now iconic wooden clubhouse and car park first opened in May 1966. However the official opening didn't take place until December of that year and was performed by the Duke of Northumberland. In 1970, the club produced its first professional player when Ray Hankin signed for Burnley. He would later play for Leeds United and Arsenal, amongst others. Since then, the club has produced nearly 100 professional footballers, including Steve Bruce, Peter Beardsley, Michael Carrick and Alan Shearer. The golden era for the club was in the 1970s and 80s, when it was widely considered to be one of the best breeding grounds for professional footballers in the country. One young player who didn't make it as a professional footballer was a certain Gordon Sumner who, under the pseudonym of Sting, became lead singer with the rock band The Police. By the mid-1990s the club had hit financial problems, ironically as one of their former players, Alan Shearer, was breaking the British transfer record. However, the club survived thanks to the help of volunteers and professional footballers who had formerly played for the club and in 2005 they announced plans to open a new facility near Walls End Sports Centre which would actually become the first main football venue in the club's history. The club will remain here at Station Road until storm damage in January 2012 knocked over adjoining wall and a famous clubhouse was demolished later that year to be replaced by this small housing estate. The club had already acquired the land here off Raid Road and after the storm damage to Station Road in 2012 this became the club's permanent home later that year. Walls End Boys Club now hosts over 40 teams from under fours all the way up to over 40s. So this has been the story of Walls End Boys Club, a famous name still at the heart of the local footballing community. My name is Richard and if you have enjoyed this episode of Grassroots Football Journeys please give it a like and why not consider subscribing to the channel. As well as these local football documentaries we also bring you some fantastic drone footage. We'll be back next time with another edition of Grassroots Football Journeys where we look at the history and home grounds of another local grassroots club. Join us for that one coming very very soon. <laughs>